Okay, Gentle Person's Guide to Good Behavior, number two. Be a good listener. Now, this is one of the most profound, miserable failures of all human beings. It's a bit of a generalization to say nobody listens to anybody, really, but it's very close to the truth, and certainly we can say almost nobody, almost never listens to other people. Yes, we do sometimes, but mostly, you know, we don't. Mostly we're waiting for the person to get to the end of what they're saying so that you can say what you're dying to say. And their speech and their revelations is really just an intrusion. You want that said and out of the way so that you can now feel your peace. And how many times do you, be honest, how many times do you already know what you're going to say? So you know what you're waiting to say. In other words, what the other person is telling is not the slightest bit of interest, isn't going to make any difference because you've already decided what you're going to say. Now, to truly listen, you must be quiet, of course, and hear what the person's saying, but you must allow it to land. You know, if a person says, well, I'm not really happy to go to the ball game this afternoon, it's not going to say, well, look, look you know, we, we got to go, come on, it's too late for you. Uh, you know, you can't just suddenly back out. Now, it's all planned. That means you're not really listening, okay? Now, if you let it really land and the person says, you know, I'm not really happy going to the ball game. If you've really listened, then you will go in a new direction. You will say something like, it's your choice, something like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that this wasn't good for you. You seemed to be bright and cheerful about it. Maybe that was just you being positive for me. Well, okay, I understand. You don't want to come. Is it a problem if I go? Will you be okay if I'm gone for three hours and I go to the ball game anyway myself? Surely that's okay. And of course, the dialogue that unravels depends. If the person says, no, I want you to stay with me, then you've got a discussion on your hands. That person is obviously clearly being difficult. Why would they say that? And you do need to do some things to clean up the act overall. We'll come to that much later in the course, something that we call clearing up crashes of a chord. You know, a chord is togetherness and loving, and if it crashes, like in a computer crash, then you've got a quarrel. Nobody's really listening to anybody. The language is often heated and very unpleasant. Crash of a chord. Okay, but that's not what this is about. This is about simply listening. And in fact, you'll avoid an awful lot of, a large number of crashes of a chord if you just have the wit and the sense to actually listen more to people. What's annoying, you must know this, when you get nearly to the end of what you're saying and then the person starts speaking. So you thought they were listening and they weren't. What do you do? Well, you have to have some way to deal with it, of course. I mean, yesterday, but the, yesterday it happened to me with a person right here in the house in my kitchen. And I had to put my hand on his, on his upper arm here and say, uh, please, just, just let me finish. And I had a few more words to say that completed my thought. And then I looked into his eyes to be sure he'd really understood it. Well, I didn't think he had. But anyway, it was his turn to speak, and I sincerely made an effort to listen to him. Uh, if you do this, you'll find that life becomes much richer, and also it's more easy to sort out who you really want to be with. Because if you start listening to people and what they're really saying, and it's obvious that they're not listening to you, you've got to question the quality of that relationship, haven't you? So it, it's easy to say, I know, but you've got to practice this, the noble art, as it were, never mind the noble art of boxing. Is it boxing that's noble? I think, I think that's what they call the noble art. The noble art of listening is finer, more valuable to all of us. Okay, that's clause two.